Hello everyone, welcome to Amasafti webcast. In this video, we will learn the steps to install and configure FTP service with advanced NTFS permission on Windows Server 2019. In the last video, we have seen the steps to install and configure FTP service on Server 2019 with anonymous authentication. But in this video, we will also set up basic authentication and advanced permission. For this demo, we are using the TSLAB created in VirtualBox. We have one Windows Server 2019 VM and one Windows 10 client VM. This is our domain controller for my local domain named ws2k19-dc01. For the testing purpose, we will install and configure FTP service on our domain controller. On this server, already I have logged in with the credential of our domain admin administrator. And that's why we have sufficient permission to install and configure FTP service. First, you need to open Server Manager Console. And on Server Manager Console, we need to click on Manage and select Add Rules and Features. On Before You Begin screen, we need to click on Next. Select Rule Base or Feature Base Installation and click Next. Select your server and click Next. On Select Server Rules, Select a web server. Select the checkbox and click on add features. Click next. Next again. Next again. And on select rule services, we need to select FTP service. So let's select it. Click next and click on install. Okay, installation is completed successfully. Let's uh, click on close to close this console. After installation, our next step is to configure FTP service. But before that, I'm going to set up FTP root folder with advanced NTFS permission. First, I'm going to open Active Directory Users and Computer Snapping to show you the users and group which I have created. Let's click on Tools and select Active Directory Users and Computers. For this demo, already I have created one OU with the name TasteOU and under that I have created two users, TasteUser1 and TasteUser2. Both users are member of the security group TasteUsers. We are going to use this security group to assign permission on our FTP site. Fine. Let me minimize it. Now let's open File Explorer. On a D drive, I am going to create one folder. Let's give name FTP root. You can assign any name of your choice to this folder. Let's configure NTFS permission of this folder. Let's right click on it. Select properties. Click on security. Click on advanced. And first of all, I'm going to disable inheritance on this folder. Let's click on convert inherited permission into explicit permission on this object. I'm going to remove both user entry. Now I'm going to click on add button. Click on select a principal. Click on advance. Click on find now and select add group which is taste users. Okay. On the type, permission will be allow but this permission is going to apply to this folder only. Click on show advanced permissions and here we are going to give them permission to create folders and append data. Let's click on OK. And once they are able to create folders, they will become creator owner of that folder which they have created and they have a full control on it. OK. Let's click on apply and click on OK. Perfect. So we have successfully configured NTFS permission on FTP root directory. Let's uh, minimize this console. And now let's open Internet Information Services Manager Console to configure FTP site. Let's click on Tools and click on Internet Information Services Manager. Maximize it. Expand our server name. Expand sites and we have only one site and which is our default website. Let's right click on a site to create new FTP site. Select add FTP site. 
specify FTP site name of your choice. And then after we need to specify the physical path of our FTP root directory. It is on a D drive with the folder name FTP root. So our physical path will be D colon slash FTP hyphen root. Let's click on next. Under binding, I'm going to select the IP address and we have only one IP address on this server. We don't have SSL certificate and that's why I'm going with no SSL radio button. Now this time we are going with a basic authentication and that's why I'm going to select the checkbox. So you can also enable anonymous authentication as well as basic authentication. But in this demo, we just want to see basic authentication with advanced NTFS permission. Under authorization, I'm going to click on this drop-down menu and here I'm going to select a specified rules or a user groups. And here you have to specify the name of your security group, which is a test users in our case. Let's specify the name. And we also want to assign a read and write permission to the member of this security group, test users. Okay, let's click on finish. And now our FTP site is ready with ID number 2 and as you can see the status is started. So we have successfully configured our FTP site with basic authentication. But now it's time to test our FTP site. To test our FTP site, let's jump to our Windows 10 client PC. And this is our Windows 10 client computer. Uh, this computer is also part of our Active Directory domain Marble Local. And on this computer, Already we have login with the credential of our domain user test user one. Let's see it. As you can see, the username is there, test user one. Now let's uh, open File Explorer to access our FTP site. Let's specify the URL of our FTP site, which is FTP colon double slash 172.18.72.5 in our case. Now we simply need to press enter key. It will ask us to provide the username and password. In our case, username will be taste.user1. Let's specify password and click on logon. Perfect. As you can see, user is successfully able to access our FTP site. But right now, the directory is empty. So let's create one folder under it. Let's give name taste.user1 and under this folder, I'm going to copy this text file. Let's right click here and paste it. So as we can see, user is successfully able to access FTP site as well as he is also able to create a directory and put some data under the FTP site. Let's check the same thing on our FTP server that whether that directory is available or not. Let's go back to our server. Let's double click on FTP root folder. And here we can see one directory is there with the name tasteuser1 which is created by our tasteuser1 on Windows 10 client PC. Let's double click on it and here we can see that a sample text file is also there with the name user1. Let's go back to our Windows 10 client PC because we want to verify one more thing. Let's again access File Explorer and let's again try to access our FTP site. And this time we are going to access the FTP site using the credential of our test user 2. Okay, uh, as you can see, test user 2 can see the data of a test user 1. Fine, but if he try to access that directory, he is not able to do that. Why? Because we have set up the NTFS permission on that folder as well. And that's the reason why one FTP user is not able to access the data of another FTP user. So this is the way how we can set up FTP service with basic authentication and advanced NTFS permission on Windows Server 2019. That's it for this video demonstration. Thank you all for watching this video.